Sneaker World, it's your boy Lace Days 502 with a early sneaker review of the Air Jordan 11 Concord 2018 Retro. These haven't been seen since 2011, December 2011. This is the Christmas release shoe. Now, the hype has died down. These were 500 resale, and I wanted those things so bad, but I'm wondering, like, since resale went down, or the hype is went down and it's going to be a massive restock, is the hype down because they moved the shoe release away from Christmas? It used to release like the weekend right before Christmas, so did that kill some of the hype? I don't know, but uh, these come with a high cut patent leather. The 45 on the back, it's not stitched like it is on the Space Gems. And so far, the Space Gems are the only high-cut retro model with the um, stitching on the back. These have the Nike Air on the insole, and we have the uh, Concord colored shoe trees. The glitter kind of cut myself. But uh, I also want to know... How do you feel about if these, the breads are rumored to come out with the 45 on the back? Would y'all want the Cool Grays to come out with the 45 on the back stitched? Yes or no? And do you want this OG model collection or would you rather have the low cut patent leather of all the other models like breads, 11, I mean bread, Cool Grays, Concords? Space Gems, or uh, uh, Columbia's also. Or would you rather have both if you're into the collecting like that? If this didn't come with the slide out box. It came out with a OG box from 95. And on this OG box, it has the Jordan logo from the that you can find on the tongue of the sixes. So... And the clothes that came out to go with these shoes also has this as well. And the patent leather 7210 design all over it, even though it's not on this shoe. But we got the icy bottom, the Concord purple hits on the bottom, the carbon fiber, true to form. The quality is perfect. No nicks or grooves or anything in the um the white midsole no scratches on the patent leather no creases or anything the only thing it's really it's really perfect the only thing ah, and i don't want to be a nick a person who likes to point out shit you know if you really look close you can see some little Glue easy right there. That's the only thing. But besides that, it's a great shoe. A lot of people said there wouldn't be no perfect pairs. But the quality on the 11s are always, like, one of the best out of all the Jordans. Um, is there anything else I really want to point out? Oh, yeah. I just got these early from the sneakers app. Two days ago, when you get them early, they come with this congratulatory paper instead of the regular return label. And um, also, I just want to say, keep your Nike sneakers app updated because I could have had these like three weeks ago because I opened up my app and it popped up and vanished. And when I got this early alert, it was the same screen I remember. But my app wasn't up to date and it like rebooted when I opened it up. But I had seen it flash where I could have had them like when everybody else was getting them early. And I think that's why they gave me another shot at getting a shoe. So shout out to them for that. And I just wanted to show this box. I don't know if Nike, this is a new Nike box. It has two big ass checks on the sides now. But that pretty much wraps up my video. In closing, I just want to give a shout out to my big brother, Will, for 
motivated me by asking me was I going to do a review of the shoe. And good luck on getting your pair when they drop on the 8th. And um, shout out to New Era 8 on Instagram. Lamar Jackson 2-0 on that start. I'll holler at y'all next video. Peace.